Hi guys, it's Mrs. Bykarski and I'm back with chapter six of Junie B. Jones and her big fat mouth. So chapter five, she figured out finally what she's gonna be for job day and she hasn't told any, well, she told her parents, but we don't know yet. So we're gonna find out hopefully in, in this chapter. Chapter six is called Tingling. It says, I couldn't sleep for the whole weekend. That's because I had tingling excitement in me about job day and my brain wouldn't settle down. And so on Monday, I zoomed to the bus stop very fast. Look, Mr. Wu, I said to my bus driver, look what I'm wearing today. Then I opened my jacket and I showed him my job clothes. See, it's nice pants and dangling keys and a paintbrush, I said, except for I can't tell you what I am because it's my special secret. Then I plopped down in my seat and me and Mr. Wu drove to the next corner. That's where my bestest friend Grace got on. She was wearing Mickey Mouse ears and a dress with red and white polka dotties on it. Grace, I said, very smiling, you look very beautiful in that dotty thing. I know it, she said. That's because I changed my mind about who I'm going to be when I grow up. Now I'm going to be Minnie instead of Mickey. Then I stopped smiling and my stomach felt very sickish inside again because that meant Minnie Mouse was a fake too. Disneyland is a fib, I said. After that, the bus stopped again and William got on. He was wearing a Superman outfit, except he had W's on the front of him and not the letter S. The W stands for William, he said to Mr. Wu. Does that mean you can fly? asked Mr. Wu. Then William grinned very big and he held out his arms and he jumped way high in the air, except for he didn't fly and so he just sat down. After that, other kids got on the bus too. And we have another picture. So there's everybody sitting on the bus in their outfits for job day. It says, Roger had on keys just like me and also plastic handcuffs. And Charlotte was wearing a red paint apron with some watercolors in the pocket. And that mean Jim was wearing a white bathrobe. Hey, I've got a bathrobe just like that, Jim. I said, very friendly. It's not a bathrobe, silly, he said. I'm a Kung Fu Karate guy. Jim is a Kung Fu Karate guy, I said to Grace, except for he just got out of the bathtub. <laughs> and me and her laughed and laughed, because that was a funny joke, of course. And job day was going to be the most fun day in the whole wide world. And that's the end of chapter six. So she showed everybody her outfit. Um, so she's got keys and a paintbrush and some nice pants. So. We'll see if you guys, if any of your guesses on what job she is are right. So hopefully we'll find out in this next couple chapters or two. We have two chapters left. We have chapter seven and chapter eight. So we have to find out soon. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.